Hi viewers and subscribers, welcome to another episode of Inno Week. I'm your host Sahim. This is another Bicycle Adventures episode. And in this episode, I'm going to take you guys from Verisano Bridge all the way to Bensonhurst Park. And then we're going to ride back from Bensonhurst Park all the way back to Verisano Bridge. This is the other half of my trip that I normally bike to, which means that this is not the full trip. In order to see the complete uh, trip and how it looks like, but I do daily, you have to go and watch the first episode of Bicycle Adventures, which I'm gonna actually put the link for that video inside the description of this video. So if you have not watched it yet, you'll be able to uh, watch it through the link. All right, let's get into it. So just like the last video, I'm going to do a voiceover for this video as well so that it doesn't get boring for you guys. So I'm going to do a little commentary when we are riding from Verasano Bridge all the way to Bensonhurst Park. But from Bensonhurst Park all the way back to Verasano Bridge, I'm going to let the music take over. So it was a very nice day. Um, the morning was very good, but I checked the forecast before I left home. And it turned out that around noon, it was going to rain uh, today. However, um, the whole day passed by, but nothing happened. And that's why I actually chose, according to the forecast, to go early in the morning to bike around 9 a.m. So this was early time in the morning. Um, however, the whole day passed by and the forecast did not turn out to be right because there was no rain the whole day. Uh, it was good, but normally, as I said in my previous video, I prefer to go around noonish uh, because uh, early in the morning there are certain chores that I do. And after I finish the, doing them, I actually go ride my bike uh, early in the afternoon. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of... Uh, information about the route itself so i really love this route um the verasano bridge to bensonhurst part of my bike trip is actually um very scenic as you can see in the video but the bad part about this route is the physical condition of the bike path itself and i think there's a lot of work needed to fix the potholes, the uh, poor condition that the bike path itself is in. There are a lot of cracks on the sidewalk as well as on the bike path that when I'm actually recording this because there's a clamp on the bike on which I mount the camera and then the camera records everything. So when um, I was moving forward, of course, uh, in a speed and uh, when I was going over all these uh, cracks and bumps on and the potholes on this bike path, the camera was keep me moving down. So as it kept moving down, instead of recording the front view, it was actually so low that it was uh, recording the bicycle uh, wheel in the front. So I had to constantly stop and move the camera back up so that it can actually record the front view so that you guys can see the scenic route that it is. Otherwise, it would have just entirely, um, you know, defeated the purpose of recording all of this video. So I edited this video in a way that, you know, the time that I actually had to stop the bike and uh, move the camera back up those are the scenes that I have edited out so you guys don't see them um, and the purpose of that is of course to let you guys enjoy the entire trip without any kind of uh, obstruction or unnecessary um, you know views or clips that uh, would not really make the video fun so that's actually not just for the recording purposes but also it's a challenge because as you guys can notice that you know a lot of these potholes like you have to really reduce the speed when you're going over them and sometimes there is no way of avoiding these potholes because they're actually everywhere left right and center 
and you just have to kind of pick um, the spot where it is the least uh, damaged area of the bike path so that if you go over them uh, it's not as bumpy and um, dangerous to ride um, as opposed to some other parts which are extremely bad because some of these potholes are so deep that if you don't realize that if you're speeding in that area you can actually flip uh, and fall down just because I go through this route every day so I know I'm well aware I remember the first time I took this route I was a little bit more cautious because the half of my trip which is basically from uh, American Veterans Memorial Pier all the way to Verasano Bridge is relatively you know good it's very you know well paved it has potholes but not to the extreme that when you cross marathon bridge and going towards bensonhurst park this route is actually needs a lot of uh, fixing on the bike route or in the bike path so uh, unfortunately it's like that i don't know for how long but nothing has been done about it and uh, since the bikers have to take this path uh, they have to really put up with it so the only way uh, if you're first time going on this path just make sure that you uh, slow your bike speed because if you are in a speed and definitely you are not aware exactly where these uh, bumpy spots are you could get into um, trouble you know you can fall down um, based on these like nasty potholes that are along the way um, so i would recommend not to speed in this area uh, because i go there every uh, weekday it is uh, now in my memory i can anticipate exactly what is about to come next so I make sure that I lower my bike speed on those spots and I also know how to maneuver in that area. It becomes a little bit of a challenge when there is uh, a lot of foot traffic. Now this was a weekday so I wasn't expecting a lot of people but as soon as I closed in uh, towards uh, Bensonhurst Park uh, like as I was getting closer I saw a lot of uh, more foot traffic along the way. So this is worse on the weekend because there's a lot more people walking in this area. And by the way, if you have noticed, there is no segregation of foot traffic from the bike path. There's maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, area which is uh, kind of like that, which, you know, segregates the foot traffic from the bike path you will notice that there is an area um, which is a pretty long you know stretch of this route where the bikers and the pedestrians are sharing the same um, path so be careful because sometimes like there are families uh, especially over the weekend people are with strollers they have uh, you know babies they have little kids and they're four or five years old and they are you know running around in this area so i am very cautious during the weekend like i prefer not to go on the weekend precisely because of this reason but if you have no other choice and the weekend is the only time that you can go to the word of caution would be please be really careful of the foot traffic especially when you uh, cross Verasano bridge and when you pass that area you basically are you know sharing this path with the foot traffic so um, as i said before weekend is really challenging to bike in this area but you know when you see around you all of this beautiful nature scenery kind of forces you to take that risk and actually go ride a bike whenever you can even if it's on the weekend i have done it once but i was so annoyed by the fact that i was i had to be extremely cautious because there was a lot of people around uh, there was a lot more foot traffic and there were a lot of kids around that it did it, it took the um excitement and 
fun out of bike because if you have to constantly kind of slow down and uh, stop completely and uh, you know basically um, be extremely um, on alert about everything around you it takes the fun out of uh, the bike ride and I, this is the precise reason why I prefer not to go in the main city on the main city streets like uh, you know within Manhattan or in downtown Brooklyn or somewhere because uh, that's where it is more intense to ride a bike I prefer to be um, on a path where it is you know clearly uh, marked and segregated bike lane no foot traffic and as I mentioned in my previous videos that this is the reason why I only go from Monday to Friday uh, early in the afternoon because those are the days and times that I don't see a lot of people um, um, in that area so if you are um, you know not available in any of those days and uh, precisely that time and weekend is the only time unfortunately um, as I said and I explained in this video which is the purpose like you know to educate people who are not aware what to expect to give them a little bit of a guide uh, or guidance uh, on this issue of uh, shared foot traffic and the bike um, other than that you know I just enjoy a lot uh, I think that this is almost I believe like 10 miles if I take total go from American Veterans Memorial Pier all the way to Bensonhurst Park and from then Bensonhurst Park back to American Veterans Memorial Pier it's more or less like 10 miles so that is a very good exercise you know I do that uh, five days a week and I think if it has given my legs a really big boost because yes I do a lot of walking in the city but um, you know one of the things that you have to keep in mind is the wind factor now it depends uh, sometimes the wind is impacting my ride when i am going towards bensonhurst park and sometimes it impacts me when i am returning from bensonhurst park it depends really on the direction of the wind but i have nine gears in my bike and i prefer to do it on the fourth or the fifth gear sometimes when it is extremely bad it's extremely windy outside then i would choose um, the third gear um, and it is a very good workout for the legs i have even noticed people put sandbags you know on around the bike and to make it more difficult for them to paddle so they can exercise their legs that was the first time i noticed somebody do that uh, on the bike path uh, on this bike path that i take and i was really surprised like wow people actually do that to exercise their legs so in short it's a really good exercise like i get a very good workout for my legs uh, by biking almost 10 to 11 miles a day on this stretch of uh, bike path so now i will sign off from the commentary i will let you guys enjoy the other half of the trip and let the music take over for the rest of the video i hope you guys like the video if you do please give it a like comment if you have any kind of comments and suggestions for this video or the channel and also subscribe if you have not subscribed yet all of this helps the channel immensely
If you like the content, please subscribe, like the video, and comment below. Help the channel grow. Thank you for watching in a week.